if I say a word, I'm going to ask you if you see a picture or other words. You ready? Yeah. Hello, it's Lily over here. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so the word is innovation. All right, easy one, innovation. Put your hand up if you see a picture. Oh, a few people, a few people. Good, good. Don't memorize who they are. And put your hand up if you see words. Okay. Some of us aren't putting our hands up. It's going to be different. Right, so let's, you can open your eyes. No, no false sleep, yes. Um, those of you who saw a picture, can I can ask you what picture you saw? You were one of them, I remember. You know it didn't make any sense. It was just an abstract thing with lots of lines coming out. Okay. <laughs> Because you're worth it. Okay. It's actually, um, L'Oreal is a ruthless company in terms of protecting its IPR. It's just won a battle in the UK High Court to repel borders on its perfumes. So it's won the battle, so all the people who are selling look alike or smell alike perfumes will be able to from today onwards, and they'll be fined. So L'Oreal puts a lot of money into research, and this quote is from the French female head of research in Lyon. And so you can see it's a different sort of company. Okay, so good try, Seth. I didn't get it right. Let's try the next one. So this one um, is about re-engineering, about reinvention, re-innovation. So you've gone, you've gone very cautious now. Radios. Radios, okay. Radios are a good guess. Vacuum cleaners. Vacuum cleaners. Come on, how's the MP3 players? MP3, okay. This is a small company, but it's typical of somebody reinventing something that happened in Victorian times. Toilet. <laughs> 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 it is. Thomas Crapper and Sons. Uh, I believe the surname of this gentleman is 
it's used as a collective noun in the US, certainly. I, I don't tend to use it myself, but there we are. Uh, so Thomas Cracker and Sons is an ancient company in, in your terms, in modern terms. Fantastic product at the time. <laughs> Victorian sanitary wear. And the problem with it is you need 24 gallons of water to make this thing flush, the one that was designed in the 1880s. So in buying the name, in recharging the company, which is what happened, they first had to solve all the new health and safety and other issues around that design and make it work for a modern audience. They still sell it as a beautiful piece of ceramic. It still sells very well in the US, uh, particularly with that style, but it's got modern design, okay? I'm not doing very well so far, but the jury's is on that. Let's try the third one. Apple. Oh, Apple. Oh, well done, that gentleman. You're quite right. This is this quote is unusual because it's um, if you look at your Bauhaus, you've got that idea of form with function, something beautiful that does a job, and that's what Apple believe they do. Uh, so, specifically about the iPhone, uh, whether you believe in the iPhone or not, uh, that <coughs> idea of uh, combining beauty, function, imagination all together works very well. So, back to innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, it's really interesting to me that when we asked 400 students about their impressions of what innovation entrepreneurship was, and also 100 business advisors, just for change, about their perceptions, um, they weren't very positive. Um, I'll leave that one up, but basically, you've got the same picture. Entrepreneurs are white, innovators are white. Innovation is connected with science and technology, which sadly gets a bad press, so it's also a negative. And entrepreneurship is linked with some of the awful TV programs we know all too well. So we asked them if they drew a picture. But I'll just draw attention to this one quote, which was depressing for me in all sorts, in all sorts of ways. People said, oh, it's entrepreneurs, very important for growth. But would you want your daughter to marry one? Which is so bad, because it says, A, their daughter's never going to be an entrepreneur. And, you know, and there's no good purpose for them. What does one look like? <laughs> <laughs> and these are the pictures people drew. The only women in the pictures were the trolley blondes. Sorry to the blondes here, thank you for Oh, hell on that, what am I saying? <laughs> 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 the bullies of the sports car. The innovator was even worse. <laughs> so here we have the people responsible for growth, for driving new ideas, for making life much more fun. You know, characterised as people you wouldn't trust on their own in Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> so, why am I telling you all this? Well, because I want you to think about what your mindset is about some of these things. Um, it's one of those things where those words carry a lot of baggage and put people off. Whereas I think that if you can recognise that sometimes you have stereotypes, you can actually do something about it, you can challenge your own ideas. And who knows, but you know, the innovators and entrepreneurs of the next 20 years could actually be you, and I hope they are. One last, last bit to think about, just again to challenge ideas. Um, can I ask, how many of you have ever eaten a doner kebab? You <laughs> 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 should ask a nutritionist, you've got this going on today. Basically, where, if I said to you, we just had the first international world doner kebab trade fair, where would you guess it was? It's terrible. I thought you were going to say Turkey, but it was actually in Germany. And the star of the show was a new innovation, a Donna robot. A Donna robot. <laughs> um, so this was designed by someone. Nationality, can you guess what they, where they were from? Japan over here, anyone on English? Actually, by a Cypriot born Vietnamese entrepreneur. And it shows you really that actually you can never tell where those ideas are going to come from. And you should start to challenge what you're seeing and what's presented by the media. Because people from all over the place are going to come up with ideas. You might be able to take advantage of those ideas or be part of them. You can bring the knowledge you've got at university to all of them. And I think I'm done. <laughs>